Debate continues on the introduction of genetically modified organisms, GMOs, on the African continent, with many skeptics questioning the need for the relatively new technology, while critics mainly argue that GMOs have health and environmental concerns. On the other hand, religious leaders see the technology as an attack on the works of God. These are some of the concerns raised by the critics of the National Biotechnology and Biosafety Bill now before Parliament. Harvard University scholar Professor Callistus Juma says countries should anchor their laws on proven scientific research rather than perceptions. It's really calling for more flexible policies uh, that involve, uh, involve evidence, that really the decisions should be based on evidence. Uh, secondly, that when those policies are being introduced, there should be a balance between an assessment of the risks and an assessment of the benefits. Professor Juma, who is an American of Kenyan descent, says Africa's rejection or negative perception of GMOs stems from a rivalry between the U.S. and European countries opposed to the technology. He says rich European countries have funded African governments and civil society organizations to oppose GMO technology. Division among scientists on the technology has also affected the rollout of GMOs. People who are actually doing the research, those people who are doing the research are the people that you really ought to listen to. Because there will be other people who have other interests. They may be people who are opposed to genetic modification, but they are, they are still scientists because they would like money, that money that's going to genetic modification to go to conventional blood -brain. So they just don't like the multiplication, even though they are scientists. In Africa, only South Africa, Burkina Faso and Egypt produce genetically modified crops. Despite research for over 30 years, no proven negative effects of biotechnology have been registered. not found any impacts of GMO, GMOs or genetic modification that are different from the impacts of conventional breeding. breeding. Contrary to general belief, genetically modified crops support intercropping with non-genetically modified crops. The seed itself is actually scale neutral. It's a question of how you design your, 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 your farming system. You can do it on a small scale, you can do it on a large scale, because the seed is scale neutral. Professor Kalistas Juma has held talks with the Ugandan president, Yoweri Kaguta Museven, over wide-ranging issues, especially the National Biotechnology and Biosafety Bill. Tiawa Satumba Abubakal, NBS Television.